Hey, good morning, sailors. We're going to continue on with our word choice today, and we're going to be looking at a couple different things. You will need to have open your writer's notebook, and you will also need to have opened um, Google Classroom because you will have an assignment in there. So let's take a look today. We're going to be reading an article called The Hottest Place on Earth and doing some work with our fireball word choice. When we're done with that, we're going to go into um, an assessment, an assignment today using word choice, and it'll be a photo writing assessment. So let's take a look at your assignment. Right now, you should be opening up and getting your writer's notebook opened, and you're going to be looking at this article right here. It says, um, welcome to the hottest place on earth. And underneath it, you're going to see that you have a few questions. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start off with the actual article for you. And then we'll go through the questions down below. Feel free to kind of work at your own pace. Um, it's okay if you work a little bit ahead. So let's take a look here. Hottest place on earth. This part of Eastern Africa is blistering hot. You've just arrived in Dalo, Ethiopia. It's 10 a.m. and the temperature has already soared to 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Stand in one place for too long and your shoes will melt. Sweat is on your back as a camel carry you, carries you across the dry land. Your skin is hot under the sun. You wish you could find some shade, but there are no houses, no trees, no signs of life whatsoever. You hop down from your camel to explore further, but watch out, the puddles of green, bright green and yellow liquid bubbling up from the ground are filled with flesh burning acid. You squint into the distance and wonder what other dangers lurk in this strange and beautiful place. So taking a look at this article and this image right here, let's see some work to be done. I want you to find, for number one, I want you to find a fireball verb to replace sweat is on your back. Is is a verb here, and it's not showing any action. See if you can put in some action. Sweat trickled down your back. So replace that for number one. When you're done with number one, pause and share some answers aloud inside your crew. Let's go to number two, now that you've shared number one. Choose a more specific adjective for dry land. So what other word could you use instead of dry? Go ahead and put something in here and then take a minute to share out some answers inside your crew. Number three, make the phrase, your skin is hot, more vivid. Really show us what that looks like. Go ahead and write a response and share out. All right, for number four, I'll have you add a word or a phrase to describe the sun. When you're done with this, share with another person inside your cohort. So share with somebody inside your crew a word or a phrase to really describe the sun. Go ahead and complete and share. Pause to allow for time. Finally, number five. Add a simile for the puddles of green and yellow liquid bubbling up from the ground are filled with flesh burning acid. Use like or as to compare the puddles to something. So the puddles are like, so go ahead and take a minute, write a simile for that. And when you're done, share with somebody inside your crew. Go ahead and pause for task completion time. Okay, sailors, this was just a chance for you guys to get back into thinking about the word choice that we use as writers. Now, it's going to be your task to show us what you can do. Go to Google Classroom, 
and you will find an assignment there called Here I Am in Here I Am in and it's your word choice writing assignment. So you're opening up this writing assignment right now that you see on my screen. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. Go ahead and pause until you guys are all there. Okay, you should be here now. It says, here I am. This is what you're going to do today. You're gonna to choose a photo from one of the slides below. Delete the ones you're not going to use. It's pretty easy to delete a slide. Most of us know how, but just in case, you just simply click on it and then you just hit delete or the backspace button and it will get rid of it. So your job is to select a slide below. Then pretend you are entering into that world, into that location, that setting. I want you to describe it as vividly as possible using as many fireball word choices as you can. So your job, pick a photo, pretend you're there, and describe it as vividly as possible. Here are your must-haves. You must have a proper noun. You can make up the name for the town or a specific name of where you are or somebody there. Use an idea now to describe the feeling that that place fills you with. It fills you with a feeling of wonder or a feeling of hope or joy or maybe fear. Use thing nouns to describe the objects that you are seeing in, inside your setting and fill your slide with your description and highlight your three best word choices. Make sure you're using those fireballs. Slide two is where you write it. It says, here I am in. Write your description below and add another slide if you need to. If you run out of room, add another slide. You can take a look at the pictures on slides three and four. You could choose slide five, slide six, seven, eight, there's so many to choose from. If you really like dogs, here's a great one. I think I would like to be in slide 12. So take a look and decide what world are you entering into? Oh, maybe I'll go to slide 14. That one looks like a lot of fun. So pick one of these worlds to enter and write about it here. Don't forget to delete the other worlds that you are not entering. When you are done, you must highlight your three best word choices, and then don't forget to click on turn in so that we can grade your assignment. All right, have fun writing. I can't wait to discover what worlds you wanna be in.